Smells good. What is it? Beef stroganoff, especially in the house. You could have had it sooner. I didn't miss it. How do you know? You haven't tasted it yet. How come Donna broke down and let you visit a strange man's apartment? Oh, she didn't make me turn you down the other time she called. It was just that, well, I was so busy with school and having my portrait painted. Tagging around with Donna and Curtis. Can you think of any better company? Me? Oh. How's your shorthand? Oh, it's terrible. I've given it up. How come? Well, I don't think I can ever replace Donna in the office. No, I don't suppose you can. Why not? I love it was your idea, not mine. Sing for your supper. Tell me the story of your life. Well, it's not very wonderful. Just a, a girl who lost her parents and went to live with a poor aunt. Of course, I could have gone to live with Uncle John. He's the rich member of the family, but Aunt Clara needed me. It was worth the sacrifice just to bring her a little happiness. Go on. That's all. OK, I'll get the rest later. Well, I, I told you that. There isn't any more. I know you did, but that isn't going to stop me. I want to know what's going on in that pretty little head. In both those heads. What does that mean? I think there are two of you. One is fictional. A little gal who sees herself getting all the things she never had. And the other one is real, and I like her a lot. <laughs> now you sound like an author. I am an author, and a darn good one. You want to stay away from me, don't you, Chris? At least one of you does. Why is that? What's the reason, Chris? Is it this? You want to know something? You like me? Both of you. 